Well, speaking of Arsenal, might they look elsewhere? One player they've been linked to is Rafinha at Barcelona, who they wanted in the summer, didn't they, Kevin? Can you see that one happening? I can't. I, I can see the logic of it because he's not been as regular a first-teamer as he would have wanted to be at Barcelona. This was his dream move, let's not forget. Um, he's had some good games, some bad games. Uh, Ousmane Dembele, I think, has gone up a level under Xavi. Um, and obviously that's on that side. I'm not sure he would give up on this too early. Mm. It's only a few months in. Would he really want to go back to the Premier League with his tail between his legs and accept the Barcelona, uh, Barcelona move hasn't worked? And also, is he going to start for Arsenal? He's not going to replace Saka, you know, and, and assuming he plays on that right wing where he has played for both Leeds and Barcelona. But Saka's been one of the best players in the Premier League this season. So, again, for Arsenal's, from Arsenal's perspective, is it a squad buy whilst they're fighting on all four fronts, all three fronts? And it does seem, Anton, that Rafinha is kind of in love with Barcelona. Oh, absolutely. He said it was his dream move when he went there. He could have gone to Arsenal, he could have gone to Chelsea in the summer, but held out for that move to Barcelona. After they won the Super Cup over the weekend, he posted on so social media, let's go for more, which doesn't really suggest he's then going to sort of, you know, get on an easy jet flight and end up at Luton <laughs> Airport. So I think it's interesting what you're saying, Liv, because I think you're right in a way that it's Arsenal are in a different place now. Mm. And if they think, hang on a minute, if we lost Saka, well, what do we do? Yeah. You know, so he would be the guy that would step in and obviously push probably more competition, push him and Martinelli yeah. in the positions. But he's not, he's not the signing they need, mm. which is staggering considering what we've been talking about Arsenal for the last couple of seasons in terms of, well, in order for the project to develop, they need this player, they need to sort out their defence, they need to hold him a field. Or that. Now they're in a position of actually, how can we get our squad better? Which, you know, other than the fact that eight points clear and look magnificent in the Premier League, it just shows how a a sensible and cohesive transfer plan actually works you know, when you do it properly. I actually wonder whether a move for Ferran Torres would make more sense because he's somebody that can play wide, can play through the middle, so he can cover a couple of positions. Would he be, would he be cheaper and he has he more surplus requirements? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think Rafinha is still a player that is a rotation option for Xavi, that he would start in certain games. Ferran is starting some games, but I think when you look at it, if everybody's fit, how close is Ferran to that first team? But does it mean he's a bad player? No. And he's got Premier League experience. It's about, again, whether you could make those numbers work. But for Arsenal, what they need and want, they didn't get Joao Felix. So I just wonder, somebody who can play through the middle, can play wide, whether that might be a better option.